when in Cisco, cause it ain't the same. See, I've been going through a lot of unnecessary, trying to get my money ready for the commissary. Everybody coming at me left and right, had to do what I do and kept my circle real tight. Came home and see it, it's how it was. I got the duck and dive, a dock and dove. See, I came home and this I, I know I got fresh clothes on my back, a hat on my dome. My girl copped me a new cell phone, no to the grindstone, and now it's on. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would even take it back for pipe crack and old Cadillacs. Yeah, I come out, all my home is gone. Either dead in the grave or either on and on. Yeah, walking around like zombies, you see. On that crack cocaine, I'm glad it missed me. Yeah, but I'm home, I'm trying to do my thing. Come on, listen, cause I, I got to let it. I went out, see, and had to get a lot Worried about brothers and dirty, dirty cops, yeah On my left, I got the other side But I'ma tell you like this, I'm a let it ride, yeah I gotta walk with the power of my stride Because I can't let the dude see me when I stop See, I'm going down on some real stuff I ain't no fake gangster rapper, this ain't tough, yeah I'm talking about my real live life, how I had to live I had to strike, yeah I was young when I went in that's right, baby, I'm talking about the pen, I'm not talking about the county, a little bitty jail, I had to do time to see, I had to do it well, if I didn't do the time, the time would do me, my name Kazin, I'ma have to let it be, or what it is, how it come off the top, I'm gonna have to make you rock, yeah, I'm back on the scene, doing my old thing, doing my DJ thing, and I'ma let my swing. That is my brother we're speaking about. Yeah. We not only grew up together, but we did time together as well. When he first caught his case, he hit the same block that I was on. Yeah. And when he came through the door, he was shocked to see me. And I was shocked to see him. <laughs> not knowing that he had a murder case. Yeah. But, on that note, he was blessed though. Because the, 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 the particular day that went on, you know, he was having he was having a lot of money and he had on some nice boots and everything. So the uh, guy from another neighborhood, which is Singing Hills, you know, they had two or three altercations in which led to uh, he had to, wanted to just take it robbing for his boots. So. And it led to an uh, incident to where they fist fought several occasions. And then this particular day, uh, they had a pistol play dike on probably wagon wheel somewhere. And from my, from my knowledge, uh, his uh, older brother told me years later that uh, Kazim, a.k.a. Wesley Pilm, that uh, he didn't try to kill his brother. He, when he shot him, the bullet went through his chest and it took the ambulance a while to get there mm -hmm. before, you know, before his brother could die. On that note, he was blessed though. Because he was finna make bond, but then he decided not to make bond and just fight it on out. 
Not only that, we hit the win unit together. I was there before he was. He came in, I said, Dink, how much time did you get? He said, I got 60 years. Wow. And I dropped my head. Are you serious? I have 60 years. I was like, Lord, man. That's a long time. That's a long time, Dink. I'm saying to myself, after that, they shipped Dink off the unit. And then Dink rode me every day, and I rode him every day. When he shot, he didn't shoot him directly like this. When he shot, he just shot. And it did, and it, and it took the lambs a while to get there. He didn't mean to kill my brother. That's what he told me. The junior and the third. I heard him, I was a witness to what he told that parole officer that, that he had done enough time and that he didn't mean to kill his brother. And I say two months later, Kazim was granted parole. During that time, uh, <clears throat> he was on a different part from me. And then after that, he started studying Islam. Okay. So he became a Muslim. Okay. And then he changed his name from Wesley to Kazim. Yes. And that's how he was doing his time. Muslim, and I was a Christian. Okay. And Kazim was granted parole and he got out New Year's Eve, December the 31st, 2013, New Year's Eve. That's what I'm saying, to wake up from 28 years, you get released from Texas Department of Corrections, December the 31st, January the 1st, you wake up and you're free. And you're free. So I had to grab him and tell him, say, man, I love you, man. I miss you. Now we're here. You know, let's go on and do it right this time. Stay free. Yeah. And he was for that 100%. He, see, so he got out of that prison. He didn't look back. He started doing his thing, coming up, doing the right things, putting God first. The man done everything he needed to do to stay focused and come up out here. It was a peculiar situation, I know could that. Did you feel it? Did it that, move you? It did, because I was telling him, I, I don't know if I could have been there for getting from a dude to kill my brother. That's what I told him. Wow. Told Kazim. Wow. But I heard that dude tell him, and that lady went to the parole board with his name and his testimony to, grant, to get him his release. I wrote the 28 with him. During my incarceration, we would write each other and everything. Okay. And I rolled it all the way to the door with him. Yeah, I go up to him and uh, he was glad to see me and I was glad to see him. So I go up and grab him and give him a hug, you know. <laughs> it's been a while, you know. Yes. And then we started uh, chopping it up old times. We talked about plans, you know, positive plans that yes. we're going to do to stay free. You know, what we ain't going to do and what we is going to do. We all do talk about focusing. You know, stay in focus. Yes. We talking about spreading wisdom to our other, you know, individuals that got out. Yeah, 28 years, no telling. This is my brother from another mother. He done that. Thank yeah. you. That's my brother. I met Kazim uh, probably in 2013. One thing I noticed when I met him, he was what we call in prison uh, a writ writer. What is that? These are the uh, these are the guys who file writs appeals, who help people fight their cases, who fight their own cases uh, yeah. appeals, and, and do that. So he was already that yeah. kind of warrior. He was already that kind of warrior person, uh, and he was real adamant about that. Uh, and that what impacted me the most and our community as as, as a Muslim community yeah. he helped us out a lot with fighting against the system okay. in a legal manner so uh, yeah that uh, he was an asset when he came <laughs> to the unit where we was at. I motivate all my individuals that done done time I give them wisdom yeah. I give them courage yeah. it's easy to stay free out here and okay. this is coming from a person, uh, you know, who was who was once in the streets. Yeah, with no legal background. With no legal background. This coming from a person, because of his incarceration, 
he had to get off into that the legal uh the legal uh process the legal uh documentation yeah. fighting his own case and that okay. from him fighting his own case he eventually started helping others fight their cases and you know deal with the legal system so okay. yeah with no wow. legal background wow. you got to have it in your mind that you don't want to go back it's just a mind thing you can do anything you set your mind to do you know can't nothing disturb it you got to stay in control. If he hears something wrong, he like, hey, fill out this, we're gonna try to do this. We. He start talking to French. We. We gonna try to do this here. We can do this here. We can do that there. So that that what impacted uh that's what uh, that's what I noticed about him. And uh eventually as me being the uh the leader of the Muslim community in prison where we was at, uh I brought him on board, on board of my staff to help me run the day-to-day -day, uh, 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 community affairs of our, uh, yeah. And so, yeah, he was an asset. I'm here now. All my homies, I'm representing all my homies in Oak Cliff that ain't here today. Say, it's a lot of keen winners in Oak Cliff that got potentials to do whatever they want to do. Like I said, it's mine. Yeah. You want you to lock it in? It's good to go.